What's going on everybody, Vulcan here, and today we are checking back in on the latest dev blog for The First Descendant. So, this game has been in development for quite a while, originally named Project Magnum, and we've got a couple beta tests that we've been able to go through and play, and I'm going to do kind of a, a big series to sort of catch up on everything that's changed, but I wanted to start off with the latest dev blog, that way you guys can sort of get a feel as to what the latest is for the game, especially now that we're going to have an open beta test coming uh, shortly, and then the actual launch of the game is going to be coming in summer. So let's get to the actual meat of this video really quick, and um, I'm not going to waste your guys' time. So. Okay, so let's talk about the big things. One, there's two new descendants that are going to be coming. They did confirm that. They did not say whether or not those are going to be in the upcoming beta or if they're going to be at launch. I'm not entirely sure, but there will be two new descendants added to the roster. And then, like I mentioned, there will also be an open beta test ahead of the summer 2024 launch, so be prepared for that. More details will be coming on both the launch and the beta test in the very near future, according to the developer. They did confirm that the game will still be free to play with a battle pass in tow. So that's something to keep in mind for those of you out there who don't like free to play battle pass games. This game will have that. This is going to be the main source of income or main product as they confirmed it for uh, the first descendant. So keep that in mind. They also confirmed there will be lots of cosmetics for all of the different descendants. So for some of you that really like the cosmetic kind of meta game, that's going to be something for for you guys to jump into as well. They did confirm cross save will be a thing, so you'll be able to play on whatever platform and your saves will transfer across to any other platform. They confirm that there will be 12 languages supported, that is Korean, English, German, French, Spanish, Polish, Italian, Portuguese, Russian, Japanese, simplified Chinese, and traditional Chinese. Then over in the actual dev note itself, they did show off the new loadout system that'll be launching with the game. This works just like normal loadouts in other games, right? You're going to be able to save a loadout for the Descendant, and you're going to be able to save weapon modules, all of that fun stuff. But then there'll also be something called presets. So every time you switch to that specific Descendant, you will equip that loadout. Now, presets can be set and activated in town, while loadouts can be swapped whenever you're not in combat. The big question I'm probably going to hear is, what's the difference? To me, a loadout is if you are jumping into like a single target damage situation versus an AOE clearing situation and you have different loadouts for those different situations, that would be sort of a loadout based system. Whereas a preset is every time I jump on Lepic, I want to make sure I have this equipment set because it's balanced, so on and so forth. Now, there was also a UI overhaul of pretty much the entire game. Um, they're aiming here to improve overall experience for players, which seems sort of like a no-brainer. The previous UI was pretty cluttered, wasn't exactly easy to navigate, and I'm somebody that's pretty easy to get along with in terms of UI stuff, and I had issues with it. Um, they changed it to a more categorized approach. They split things up into either inventory-centered menus or map-centered menus. Now, for them, they believe this is going to help players get around easier, know where to find things, and just sort of lessen the amount of time that they're going to actually need to find what they're looking for. The equipment menu also got a facelift, mostly in the tooltip category, and these look much, much, much better. The previous ones were just kind of a cluttered wall of text mess. Wasn't exactly great, but it was easy to dismiss because that was an alpha test. But now that we're getting closer to launch and things are starting to shape up a little bit better, this looks much, much better. Now, down in the FAQ, they do answer some pretty normal questions that you would see for a looter shooter. But one that I did want to make sure that I pulled out and talked to you guys about is that the clan system is going to be coming at a later date. They will have a guild slash clan system for the game. It will be unique to First Descendant, according to them, because of the way they kind of view the game and how the game works. So more to come on that. But for those of you that want to start a guild or a clan with your buddies, you'll be able to do that. So guys, that's the latest update on the first Descendant. I will have more on this as time goes on, including catch-up videos and all of that fun stuff. So if you're interested in this or any other looter shooters to begin with, then check out the channel, check out some other videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Vulcan, and I'll talk to you next time.